Canberra historians are ecstatic after making a discovery that couldn't be more timely ahead of the 2013 centenary. They've found a century-old Walter Burley Griffin design, long believed lost or destroyed. The document's looking a little worse for wear, but as an original drawing entered in the competition to design Canberra, conservators are determined to restore it to its former glory. Siobhan Henry reports. Historians say it's like a Da Vinci Code moment or cracking into King Tut's tomb. I sort of got an inkling that it existed about oh, 20 years ago. I, um, I, I was going through some old photographs in the National Archives in our collection and I found a picture of it uh, from 1912, uh, from the time of the competition. The man who tracked down the missing document was heritage heavyweight David Heaton. It had been stuffed into the sleeve by someone who had no idea of its significance whatsoever. It was held by the Planning Institute of Australia uh, and uh, in their library, but they weren't aware of what it was. They just thought it was another working drawing of the Griffin design. It's one of 16 drawings Walter Burley Griffin and his wife Marion submitted to the competition to design a capital for a fledgling nation. Their coloured masterpiece wasn't finished in time, so they sent off this line version with detailed annotations about the sort of buildings they thought a city like Canberra would need. The design um, sort of reflects the purpose.